Um, so a number of folks have had issues with copying a selection from Photoshop to Illustrator, uh, essentially getting a white background and not the result that you want. So instead of getting this, getting a white frame around the image, it seems to be uh, related to PC's clipboard because um, I can't replicate that behavior here on a Mac. So I want to talk about a workaround here. So let me hop on back to Photoshop and here's what you could do. If you've gotten this far with that previous video, um, what you could do is make sure that you don't have a smart object here. You could you could rasterize that layer by right-clicking and going to Rasterize Layer. And you could hit Command-J. Um, on a Mac, it's going to be Control-J on a PC. And what that's going to do is take the selected area and make it its own separate layer. Now you can go back to your original, uh, and you could hide it. Yeah, you don't have to delete it. And what we want to do is actually save this as a PNG file, okay? So this will keep the transparency and we can import it in Illustrator. So to do that, I can cruise up to File, Save As, and you can see that along with all the other file types, I'm gonna have PNG, all right? So if I've got Steph Big PNG, all right, uh, let's make it Steph Big 2, because I think I've already got one. Okay. And the defaults here are going to be fine. I do want to keep the largest sort of number of pixels or resolution that I can. All right, now back in Illustrator land, I can go to File, Place. And I can take that PNG, and you can see I can drop it on in. When you get this little box here, that just wants to know like, hey, do you want to embed this into the document or have it essentially as a sort of link to the file uh, that's not actually truly part of the Illustrator file? So I do want to embed it. So I'll click embed and you'll see the box go away. And now you've got transparency on the outside. So if you've run into the white box problem, uh, that should solve it and should help you get your cool raster graphics into Illustrator. There you go.